I've had my WC renovated and I sent the photos to some people and um, a friend of mine asked me about this. Now in Japan, most toilets have a control panel like this. Obviously they're not all identical. I chose the most basic, believe it or not. You wouldn't think that by looking at it, but I actually chose the cheapest option because I don't think I'm ever going to use even all of these functions on the cheapest option. So he asked me about the buttons and I thought, well, yeah, if you don't live in Japan and you've never been to Japan, you probably are unfamiliar with such things. So I'll talk you through it. And uh, that's the toilet there. Um, difficult to get a good shot because I'm uh, in the WC, it's quite small in here. But let's go back to this control panel. So, well, we'll start with the top. We've got the flush buttons on the top. And if I can point to them, we've got big flush, small flush, and eco flush. Now, you'll have to use your imagination. I think it's pretty obvious what big flush and small flush are for. Eco flush is even smaller than small flush. And well, I suppose if you think you can get away with flushing away with whatever you've done with a tiny little flush, then um, I suppose that's the purpose. I don't know what the official reason is for eco flush. Um, I have tried it and it does seem to flush away, uh, well, you know, whatever's necessary. And I suppose another thing you could do is maybe when you've cleaned it, perhaps use Eco Flush, I don't know. Right. Well, this is simply the off button. This switches it off. Um, these buttons here control the wash lid. That is the B-Day function, which is known usually as wash lid. The wash lid, or what we might call a B-Day, is built in to the toilet. So here, behind this panel, this small panel here, there is a nozzle that comes out and it hoses your backside with water, hoses your underparts with water. I don't know uh, whatever word you want to use. Now I can't demonstrate that because it will squirt water everywhere. But what I can do is I can show you that if I press uh, this button here, this button here is, uh, it says nozzle cleaning. So if I press that, there you go. So that is, it comes out like that so we can clean it. That's the only reason why it does that. That's the reason why we do that. So I press that again. There it is, it goes back into its little hole. And by the way, there's a socket there, so it's plugged into the mains there. And obviously that uh, metallic part is just the water feed for the toilet cistern. That's the tank, that is. And there are some backup switches on there. There's the, uh, there's an on switch. And um, Actually, that isn't a backup switch. The only backup switch, sorry, I'll take that back. The only backup switch is the flush button there. Um, I can flush it by pressing that. I suppose if the battery, this is battery power. It's got two AA batteries in it. And if the batteries run out, or for some reason you've got a loss of power on the control unit, then 
you can press this flush button on here. I'm not sure what this is for, by the way. I'm not sure what that's for. Um, I haven't read the instruction book yet. Uh, my Japanese is good enough to understand how to use this, but frankly, um, I don't really feel I want to challenge the instruction book yet. So this is telling us that it's on. This is telling us that the seat, the toilet seat is being heated and the toilet seat heat, which is there, if I press it, it t tells me it's on level one. I've got three options. That's level one, level two, level three, level back down to level two, back down to level one, and off. So there you can see the green LED above the toilet seat um, icon is off now. So if I want the toilet seat heater on, right, that's on level one, you can see it's back on. So that's for the toilet seat heater. We've got another button here, which is for the water temperature. So there it is set at level one, it's off. Level one, level two, level three. I say level one, level two, level three, they actually say low and high, uh, the Japanese characters. That's low and that's high. So it's on high heat, medium, low. Uh, low heat for the uh, water temperature that comes out of that nozzle I showed you to wash your underparts. So yeah, for me, the lowest setting is absolutely fine. Don't need it any warmer than that. Um, that tells you when the batteries are low in this control unit. What else can I tell you? Um, We've got this here, which is an interesting one. This says um, power tatsu niyoi. So um, basically, it's some kind of function that deals with smells. So it's a kind of deodorizer, that's what I should say. So power deodorizer, that's what that says. Uh, if you press that, that's on and off, by the way, the uh, on and off power deodorizer. Again, um, I suppose leave that to your imagination. Um, this here is the water pressure. And as I said, these buttons are for the wash lit, the B day um, and this, as you can see, is less power and more power. So currently it's on level two, level one. You can't have it off because it, the whole point is that uh, it's a wash lit. So it's always, you know, if you don't want to use it, of course, then that's off essentially, isn't it? So um, obviously whenever you use it, it's got to be on at least one. So yeah, that's the water pressure. This here is the nozzle position. So you can adjust that nozzle. As I showed you before, if I just press that cleaning, that's to, to release the nozzle when you're not sitting on it. Now I should say that when you're sitting on it, the toilet detects the pressure from our body weight. So when we sit on it, it then can release the nozzle and squirt water onto the underneath of our body. So 
if there is no pressure on this toilet seat, if you press the button, nothing's going to happen in theory. I've not tested it, let's try it. So there you go, nothing will happen. You need to be sitting on it for something to happen. Now I'm not going to demonstrate that because if I do apply pressure to this seat and press one of those buttons, it's going to, the nozzle will come out and squirt water everywhere. And I don't want that to happen, obviously. So you just have to trust me on that. And uh, these little images perhaps are kind of intuitive. So this one is for, but it basically says bottom, your bottom, your backside, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it, it, it squirts a more concentrated um, spray of water. It's, it's, it's actually could be quite painful. I've, uh, I have, in, in some cases, uh, not this toilet, because I'm, I'm used to it now. When I first started using this kind of toilet, I did sometimes find that it was too powerful. It did hurt me. Um, and it does, uh, it can be unpleasant. So this one is, um, well, by the way, I should say, if you want to know what I says, it's uh, or should it just, it's a polite way of saying your bottom. Uh, this one says Yawalaka, it's kind of like gentle, um, gentle wash of your bottom, so uh, less, less powerful. Now, just to remind you, there are power settings here, so you can fine tune it. But this spray is less concentrated. It's kind of like, um, more like a shower kind of feeling. This one is bidet, and as you can see, it's given the female image there. So this is for uh, designed for women um, to, uh, well, obviously for women's body parts, uh, which are different to men's. So that's that means that the water comes out uh, slightly further forward. So if I press this again, so you can see what I'm talking about. You can see there, there are three holes. And I'm assuming, and I haven't checked this, I'm assuming those three holes, I put that back in. I'm assuming those three holes correspond with these three functions. Right. Um, what else have we got? I think I've covered everything, right? Yeah, I think I've... Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, sorry, I haven't told you about these. Well, I, I was slightly confused by these because these are um, eco settings, the timer settings, power saving settings. And I can't quite figure out um, what I need to do. I mean, as you can see, it's got well, this is you, this is timer, and it says six and nine. I mean, I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to use it. It does have a button there that says on, oh, like I said, which is like um, you let you you let the machine decide for itself. You just leave it to its own devices as to when it should go into power save mode. Um, and this is just a settings button to uh, to set the power sa saving um, auto. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure how to use these, but it's some kind of, as I said, some kind of power saving um, settings. I haven't bothered using those. Um, if I should use them, I need to get maybe somebody to help me understand the instruction booklet because um, the manual is a bit of a challenge for my Japanese, but I can understand this control basically. Um, I understand what the words say, luckily. Um, so there we are. That is the control panel. And well, this does lift off. Um, there we are. So it's uh, got the bracket mounted on the wall there. And in, in here, there are two AA batteries. And as I said, the toilet seat is heated. That's pretty standard in Japan. Um, 
Of course, I can switch that off because I don't need it. Uh, I've personally never felt the need for a heated toilet seat, um, but uh, most Japanese, especially Japanese women, um, seem to insist on it. So uh, there we are. That is my toilet. And as I said, just to recap, uh, well, you can see there that blanked off section there is probably where a, a more expensive model has more buttons because what i can tell you is some of these some toilets that i've used they definitely have more functions and one function that i have seen for example is a dryer setting so once you've washed your your bottom and uh, you've you've stopped washing there is a, another button you can press to blast your your bottom with uh, warm air to dry it. Uh, I, I haven't gone for the uh, more expensive option, I've just gone for the cheapest option. So there we are, that's my WC and toilet control. I should say this is nothing new by the way, this is no, no great high-tech thing. Um, well, it, I suppose it is high-tech, but it isn't the latest technology. Uh, I first came to Japan in 2003 and back then I was already, uh, I, I, that was the first time that I used such a toilet with uh, a control panel that, and I remember in 2003 the toilet I used had a control panel even more complicated than that. Um, but yeah, there we are. But some toilets, they don't have a wall mounted control panel. They actually have it um, built into the side of the toilet or either wh whichever side. Um, but uh, I can't remember, but the, the plumber uh, that I used, the local plumber recommended I use one that's wall mounted. And I don't remember the reason now, but anyway. There we are. Uh, if you've got any questions, please ask them in the comments below.